Do it real quick. Hi ladies, so I've got lots of requests on how I create my photo montages for the up close eye and lip. Um, so I thought I'd show you. So you need a mirror, and I'm just using my iPhone 6. Nothing fancy. Um, I stand in my bathroom because that's pretty much the only place in my house that has decent lighting. And as you can see, I've got no lights on right now in the bathroom. This is the natural light that is coming through that you want to make sure that doesn't have any reflection in it, that's not too bright, that overshadows your look or anything. Um, so the first step that I do to create a look when the lighting is right is I just use my mirror and I turn my phone around so it's not in selfie mode. So you do not want it in selfie mode um, because that's where you get unclear kind of foggy looking picture. So you want to turn it around like you're taking a selfie the old way and you want to have a mirror. So you're going to have a mirror like this so you can see where you're pointing. And I literally, let me turn my phone on, and it takes me a good 10, 15 shots, if not more. And I'm just getting to the point where I can see my eye and how close I am. And I just take shots and I will just stare in different directions and go kind of in a circle and just keep snapping. And then for the lips, kind of the same thing. I'll just get as close as I can and make different lip positions and keep, keep snapping. And then when I'm done with that, then I'm going to take it to Diptych. So then I'm going to go and take my Diptych dip tick app and this is where I create it so I pick my images that I want um, and then I just kind of turn them and make them bigger however I want same with the eyes get them to where you want them to be and then I'll take like the frames or the border and I'll make it a little bit smaller so it's less of a line you can change the color if you want a little bit black okay so once I'm done with that I've got it positioned where I want it for the most part I will save it then from there one last step is I will go and get an app called Facetune so this is an app I don't know much about it but I this is the one I just did um, but I know a few things that I've used so I'll go get that photo that I just saved as you can tell I've got lots of those up close pictures until I find the right one so here's the collage I just created the only thing I do here I don't want it to be fake or you know change any of the colors or anything because that's what it is I want it to be what it is but what I like to do is I like to smooth out my skin around my eye and lips and that way you're just focusing on the actual color of the eye and the lip. So I just take the smooth or the smoother button and I just run my finger around the parts where I want to smooth it out. And that's where you it's kind of like blurring it a little bit so you're just focusing on the eye and the lip itself. And that's kind of where I how I get my clear pictures and how I get it to look semi-professional I guess. And then I just save it. <laughs> Okay, here's the finished product with Dip Tick, no Facetune, no smoothing, it's just raw, totally okay to do. Um, and then you add the smoothing technique to the image, it just brightens the eye and the lip and that's what you want it to be focused on, so that's why I use it. Here's the same thing, just the eyes using Dip Tick and smoothing it out, I add a watermark, ready to go. Hope this is helpful, thanks for watching.